tofauti aliko ndugu yangu Yoshua Makori ni jembe ile ilikiingia mali na juazi kwamba kweli itafanya kazi nzito na yuko tayari kuweza kutujuza mengi kuhusiana yale ambayo anazunguka kaunti ya Elgeyo Mara kwetu wengi wakijua wanaposikia kaunti hii katika maswala ambayo yanafungamana kidogo na ufisadi wanakumbuka sakata uh, za mabwawa lakini kilichompeleka pale uh, katika ofisi ya SCC ni kitu tofauti zaidi tukizungumzia madai ya ufisadi katika kandarasi ya mafuta hali ikoje ulipo Yoshua uh, tuaje Uh, Makori ongechi so, Dr. Rashid kama ambavyo unadokeza kwa sasa nipo katika uh, makao makuu ya tume ya kukabiliana na ufisadi nchini hapa Integrity Center ambapo kwa takriban saa tatu ambazo tumekita kambi nje hapa uh, ni kwamba gavana wa kaunti ya Elgeyo Marakwet Alex Tolgos amekuwa kihojiwa na maafisa pamoja na makachero wa tume hii ya ESCC eh, kuhusiana na madai kadhaa yanayomhusisha na ufisadi eh, swala kuu likiwa ni eh, kupatiana kwa kandarasi kadhaa eh, zikiwa ni kandarasi za mamilioni ya pesa ambayo inadaiwa gavana amekuwa akipatiana katika uh, uh, kampuni ambazo zinahusiana naye na kama si kuhusiana naye basi moja kwa moja uh, basi kuhusiana na wale wa ndani wake wa karibu pamoja na maafisa tofauti wa ngazi ya juu uh, katika kaunti hiyo anayoongoza ya Elgeyo Marakwet lakini Rashid pia uh, taarifa ambazo tumeweza kuzipata hadi sasa ni kwamba maafisa wa ESC wanatumia ripoti tofauti zilizochapishwa na yule mkaguzi mkuu wa serikali tu kwa kimombo the auditor general ambao pia kwa miaka kama tatu nne iliyopita ameweza kuwasilisha ripoti tofauti zikiwa zinaonyesha ubadhilifu wa aina fulani wa fedha katika kaunti hiyo ya Elgeyo Marakwet ikiwa ni pamoja na uh, uh, miradi tofauti ambayo ilikuwa imeashiria kwamba imejengwa na kufanyika lakini hadi sasa haijaweka haijaweza kukamilika kwa hivyo ni masala hayo tofauti ambayo gavana wa Algeo mara kwetu anahojiwa kwayo kwa sasa uh, tukiarifiwa kwamba wakati wowote kutoka sasa basi ataweza kutoka uh, na kuondolewa ili pia tuweze kufahamishwa na kufahamishwa pia na usimamizi wa kaunti hiyo ni yapi ama masala yapi hayo ambayo yanamkumba kwa sasa lakini awali pia tuweza kupata duru kutoka kwa afisi ya gavana huyo kwamba aliashiria kwamba yuko tayari tu kushirikiana pamoja na maafisa hawa wa ESC eh, katika basi kuweza kuelezea na kuweka bayana masala tata na hasa hayo ya ufisadi ambayo yanakumba kaunti hiyo Rashid kama ambavyo utakumbuka ni kwamba Tolgo si gavana wa kwanza kufika hapa na hata katika siku za hivi karibuni eh, pia tulishuhudia gavana wa Nairobi Mike Songo pia akifika hapa kuhojiwa tu eh, kuhusiana na mada tofauti ya ufisadi pamoja na miradi tofauti ambayo inasemekana eh, ilifaa kama kaunti waweze kukamilisha lakini hadi sasa basi haijaweza kukamilika kwa hivyo tutafuatilia kwa karibu na kama ambavyo nimekuashiria tumeambiwa kwamba muda mfupi kutoka sasa eh, gavana huyo atakuwa amemaliza kikao na maka chero hawa katika tume hii ya ESCC basi tutaweza kupata taarifa usika kwa undani na pia kuweza kumfahamisha basi mtazamaji kwa kina Rashid na lakini makorongechi kwa dakika moja kwamba kitambo ulikuwa na ile tamaduni wakati gavana ameweza kuitwa kwenda kujibu masuala fulani uh, baadhi ya wapiga kura kutoka eneo lake ama baadhi ya wale ambao wana wanaamini wana wa, wa uongozi wake kuja na kusis, kusimama ima nje ya ofisi hizo makaribu kwa sababu ya ule Uh, kusimama naye imara. Kwa sasa hivi hapo ulipo kama umeweza kujenga taswira ya kuweza kuona baadhi ya wakazi kutoka kaunti ya Lugoyo Mara kwa ama ni gavana peke yake aliyefika na kuweza kuitikia uh, mwito huo ambao umemfikisha katika ofisi za ESCC. Na Rashid kinyume na labda uh, hadi ambao tulishuhudia wakati ambapo uh, gavana wa Nairobi Mike Mbovi alishuka hapa pamoja na wafuasi wake uh, katika kaunti ya Nairobi na hata kushuhudia kasi ambazo zilisheni nje ya uh, jumba hili la Integrity Center uh, wakati ambapo gavana wa Elgeyo Mara kutali uh, fika hapa kama saa tatu hivi zilizopita uh, basi alikuwa ameandamana na maafisa wachache tu kutoka kaunti ile ya Elgeyo Mara na tujaweza kuona wafuasi wote ambao kura kutoka kaunti hiyo basi 
mwandishi wa kiandamana naye eh, pengine labda kutokana na kwamba Elgeyo Marakwet ipo kwa umbali kidogo Rashid lakini hilo halijakuwa hoja hapa katika makao haya ya ESC manake Togo Zama gavana huyo wa Elgeyo Marakwet alifika hapa tu akiwa ameandamana na maafisa wa nne watano hivi eh, kutoka kaunti hiyo ya Elgeyo Marakwet tutashuhudia labda pengine Rashid eh, wafuasi hao watajitokeza baadaye lakini kwa sasa tumeshuhudia tu gavana huyo na maafisa hao wakiingia katika jumba hili basi kuhojiwa Rashid Shukran sana jembe hilo naona likiingia mali wanakupa taarifa za yakini baadaye atakuwa anafuatilia masuala yanayofungamana na elimu lakini sasa hivi yuko pale nje kuweza kusubiri uh, kikao kitakachokamilika uh, tujue hatma ya kikao hicho ilikuwa ipi uh, na mustakabali wa kaunti ya Ligoyo mara kweti ni upi makori ongecha kitujuza hayo mengi bado wana habari ambao tulionao ni wengi kwa ufupi ni kwamba mambo ni mengi muda ndio kidogo kwa sio na wasiamu sio na wasiwasi hapo ulipo wewe tulia tu Gavana Elgeyo Marakwet ametoka katika majengo ya SCC tusikia na kipi cha kuzungumza. So I'm wondering where the media got the 200 million because even the Elgeyo Marakwet residents are wondering where the tender for 200 million for fuel and yet our annual budget annual development budget is 800 million. So the issue of uh, 800 uh, 200 million tender is uh, what I'm still baffled and uh, I wanted to seek Uh, or to give clarification to the media but basically i've come to give the side of my story about uh, that supply uh, and to confirm that the supply was 742760 to the department of health and mostly this fuel was supplied to the county ambulances and uh, others were supply of lpg gas to uh, some of the health facilities so was the supply done by Yeah, uh, as I've said, uh, this is a station which I used to run before I became a governor, and at the moment that uh, I've relinquished the station to another dealer. Used to run? Was it yours or your management? When you say you used to run, what do you mean exactly? I I used to be a dealer for Oil Libya Company. Yes. So you know you don't own the petrol station? No, I don't own it. So Oil Libya Company. Uh, no uh, procurement team has uh, been summoned on and they've recorded their statement they've given all the documents and i want to clarify that all the information that ESCC requested from Elgeyo Marakwet we delivered all the information they require so one of the ESCC advice moving forward no i think it's their investigation so they don't advise they just if there are allegations that uh, I'm really up, uh, on issues concerning uh, uh, county tenders and uh, other issues they do the investigation and they don't advise the county they just do the investigation and if they find anything that they think that uh, it was not done in the right way then they have their way of doing things yeah. so in, your, in, your, in your assessment mm -hmm. is a normal uh, investigation procedure or is it Uh, to me because uh, the way I answered questions I answered as a normal uh, investigation because as you are aware ESCC is there for members of public if they have any concern they write to ESCC and it's their mandate to investigate and find out whether the allegations are true or not but for now I cannot confirm whether it's political or it's not but you don't rule out pol politics in it yeah thank you If, if there are allegations then uh, I would request the anybody with that information to write to SEC and if a governor has been summoned and not at a summon then any other member of county should also do the same yeah because I think uh, there is no other person above me in the county that will think that they cannot be summoned by SEC if I have come then each and every member of staff is Uh, free uh, or is mandated to come and record any statement in case they are in fine. So just the last one. Uh, yeah. Did the go maybe touch on, touch on uh, the allegation that was said by Edward Oko in a misappropriation of uh, the budget, 2018 budget? 
I think to clarify uh, in all our audit uh, queries, uh, there is no misappropriation or, or maybe some are procedures and audit queries are, 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 are normal. I don't think there is any entity that uh, doesn't have an audit query and we've been able to answer all the audit queries and uh, the other day I was in Senate to, uh, also honoring another someone to come and clarify on certain audit issues. So uh, the audit issues is part of this? No, they are not part of the audit issue. So, yeah. Thank you. Yeah.